So we saw nothing that Gardevoir had to offer. No. Uh, is there anything that like really screamed out to you that you have to have? I know you wanted Togekiss gone, and I, I can let you have the Switch if you want to do that. Vespiquen, Kangaskhan, Dugong, and Bronzong. Ooh. Mmm. Kind of missing that Rapidash right about now. <laughs> yeah, really. Um, that Bronzong would be such a pain to fight against. And we don't know if it has Levitate or Heatproof. That is true. So it could have... We don't know what its one weakness is. Do we even have fire or ground moves anywhere? <laughs> I don't. Oh, that's going to be a pain. That is going to be a pain. Okay. Um, um, if you want to get rid of Togekiss, I can let you have the switch. If you think Togekiss might be a good thing to have in the long run so we can out-tank another tank. Mm, it doesn't have anything that really helps with it tanking, so I think we should get rid of Togekiss for something there. Okay. I think your two are really solid. You got really good damage dealers. I'll, I'll let you have the switch then. Yeah, I think it's the most necessary of the two. Weavile's just been a great start. Okay, so we'll get rid of that for... I love a female Alakazam has its mm. mustache partly shaved. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny, I'm sorry. Right? Uh, Tangrowth, Gardevoir, Golem, or Victory Bell. That's a tough decision. I didn't ever really see what that Victory Bell did. It we just didn't see if Golem right had away. a ground-type move. Yeah, we didn't really get to see a lot other than Tangrowth using Focus Blast and Energy Ball, and I don't know how I feel about a special-based... Tangro. I would say no. If it had Power Whip, then yes. But... We could take a chance on Gardevoir. It wouldn't be that what bad. What would you be hoping for it to have that my Alakazam wouldn't, though? Maybe Focus Blast? Mm. Well, just having a second set of eyes doing that. Otherwise, I mean, Golem. Mm. Uh, Victory Bell. I don't know. I, um, think, I think Victory Bell and Gardevoir have the most potential to be good. I agree. I agree. But Poison isn't going to do much against Bronzong. There's Dugong. So Ice-type. That could be trouble. Kangaskhan is just, eh. And Kangaskhan could have one? anything. Uh, the other one was, oh gosh, what was it? <laughs> That's part of the challenge. Yeah, having to remember, to remember everything. what your opponent has. Yep. And it gets worse later on, too, because they tell you more and more vague things. They'll tell you things like you could expect to see a fire type in the yep. next match. That They get more vague with time. It gets harder. I'm just going to go with Victory Bell and be done with it. I think we'll just take a chance. It's got to be better than, uh, <laughs> yeah. I think it's got to be better than Togekiss. That thing was just so bad. I like all the differently sized Pokeballs in the tanks. Oh, yeah. It's kind of funny. That is pretty cool. Uh, oh, oh, this boy. looks cool. She's bringing her little My kid. papa's dream, I'm going to make a rail. I went and caught my Pokemon with my daddy. <laughs> They're brother and sister. <laughs> they, they are. Both, that's they both amazing. talk about their daddy. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, who your daddy? We have the same daddy. <laughs> well, hopefully we won't make their daddy proud. Paisley and Percy. <laughs> they sound like they could be related. They, they really do. Like, oh, if, they, if their ages weren't right. so different, like they could be twins. <laughs> <laughs> They're Paisley and Percy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Okay, brick breaking dugong is the best I can do. Yeah. So. Do you want me to ice punch that Vespiquen, or should I go for a fake out on something? I'm kind of um, worried that I think I got Weebok dugong taken care of. Personally. Yeah, I think. Uh, Actually, if you think you have that, maybe I should go for Fake Out on Vespiquen just power for a gym. little bit of extra damage. It could have Power Gem, could have Attack Order. Yeah, well, I just don't know if Ice Punch is going to do enough, and I've got a pretty high attack stat. The Fake Out should hurt a good amount. Would be good chip damage. Yeah, it let's do that. It, it can only have pressure for its abilities. Right, because so, yeah. I'm pretty confident in your ability to take out Dugong. There's the Fake Out. Free hit. We'll take it. That's all Weavile is, just free hits. Yep, exactly. Does it well. Don't need yep. much more than that. Oh, yeah. Um, a little story of something I have in here is that I always wanted to get it for my team. But I remember that when playing in here, we always wondered, like, oh, I wonder if there's, like, a, like, in this case, like, a Dugong that has that move or a Tangrowth that has that other move. Because mm -hmm. there's multiple move sets that each Pokemon can have, and they're always going to be helpful. But one that I always wanted to see, and I had a friend who saw it, but I never, ever actually saw it in normal gameplay. There's a Licky Licky in here that has Explosion. Oh! And it's the only Pokemon that can get same type attack bonus with Explosion. It's beautiful. Oh, man. That is gorgeous. So, uh, hear me out on this. Knockoff. Yeah. That Bronzong could have leftovers. It could. Should we do it first and take no chances, or should we wait a turn? I've got another interesting idea. I do have Screech. That could really help with Bronzong. Because I could either Ice Punch and try to get Vespiquen out of the way, 
Or we could deal with Bronzong. I have uh, nothing else in reserve that can deal with Bronzong, though. The only thing I'm worried about is Bronzong having Calm Mind, potentially. Oh, that could be bad. Even though we're physical attackers, if he can get his special attack high enough. Actually, you know what? Let me take a look at this Victory Bell for a moment. I guess it'd be good to see what it can actually do. Leaf Storm Sleep Powder, Sludge Bomb, and Gastro Acid. Interesting. Gastro acid, acid could get rid of levitate, although it doesn't really matter. We don't have anything that's going to no. deal with that. Um, um, hmm. I have powder nothing. could be good. I have virtually nothing I can do on Vespiquen. I think I'm going to go for Ice Punch on Vespiquen. I think it'll knock it out after seeing how much that fake out that was 40 power did. A 75 power that gets stab and weakness should definitely knock it out at this point. Check my damage real quick. I just want to make sure I got the power on moves right. I think Brick Break is the right play. Uh, sure. against which? 75 against Brawlic. Oh, no, x is 80. Yeah. So, x has got a high critical hit Wait, chance. Wait, but x doesn't have a stab. Break Break does. Yes. So, actually. you definitely want to go with that. So, never mind. All right, I'm going to Ice Punch Vespiquen. We can hope that Bronzong will use Reflector Light Screen or something, and I'll just break right through it on the next Ooh, turn. Ooh, that'd be good. It you, could we just we don't know what anything do has. This is so different from the gym leaders where I've played the game so much that I know what they have and I it just <laughs> right? kind of makes sense for me to say the moves out loud oh, I remember come on. Most of them One hit anyway. point. <laughs> I mean at least I'm glad I used fake out. I, I almost feel like that was justified now, you know? Well, I mean it, it didn't it did come so close. Well, I mean, you did kind of you, you do have a dark type move in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Air cutter. Oh, yeah, that'll hurt you. Hurt. No crits, please. Please. Oh! At least there's that damage modifier because it's hitting both of us, so it's not as strong as it could be. True. Oh, it didn't even do half. Yeah, it almost did Actually, more Actually, oh. Mm. Okay. Well, that sucks for you. Yes, it does. I just realized something that we should totally be doing in this to make better decisions. Yeah. Is, um, I funny if you're already doing this, is a uh, hit start right here so we can bring switch it from bars to numbers. Oh, yeah, that's so we, a good idea. we know truly if things are doing more or less than half of our HP. I don't know. I almost find it easier to read bars sometimes. Well, sometimes it depends. It's, sometimes the bar is green even though it's slightly below half. Right, right. Because yellow does not mean truly half. Ugh. I don't know what I want to do now. Part of me wants to switch and use fake out later. This trick room is going to mess with us. I think I'm... I think I'm just better off staying. And remember that you're weak to air cutter and Vespiquen's going to go first or go second. I just don't know what that Bronzong's going to do. I'm going to I'm going to stay in. I'm going to Okay. Should I brick break the Bronzong to weaken it more? I guess Gobi didn't do the knockoff thing or should I just chip damage that Vespiquen to get it out of the way? And um, you can switch. You know what? Actually, let's do this a little differently. How about you take out Vespiquen I target Bronzong? Because I can Night Slash it, and it might hit for more. I know Steel still resists Dark, but Neutral Stab. Would be nice if Steel didn't resist Dark. Anymore, oh, but. that'd be great. Yeah, Bronzong would be done. Yeah, I'll, I'll Poison Jab Vespiquen just for some chip damage. Okay, otherwise I could Screech Bronzong if you think we might need that. I'll leave I that up. I'll, I'll make that your call. Yeah, I don't have anything. Actually, we don't have anything physical base. You got Alakazam, so... Yeah, our reserves really are help. not physical, so we'd have okay. to stay out to for that I'm going to gonna target Bronzong. You get Vespiquen. We'll just hope we can survive this turn as much as we can. I am I heck. Heck. Oh, Good game. Well, I'm gone. Um, Have fun with that. Yep. Yep, bye. <laughs> uh, we out, Weavile. <laughs> Jeez. At least Vespiquen's gone, and they're going to be down to their last two at the same time as us. They're in a very similar situation. Oh, they wanted me gone. Jeez. Oh, oh please don't get the boost. Well, I mean, it's not going to matter because I'm going to beat it. Yeah. That, that was a crit. Man. What's these crits and not doing much damage? Not that I'm complaining, but it's kind of funny. I think I should try to put that Bronzong to sleep. That thing needs to go. Iron Head. It's got trick what a room jerk. Iron Head. That's actually pretty good. I wouldn't mind adding that to the team instead of Victory Bell, unless Victory Bell really impresses me. The fact it has Sleep Powder is nice, though. The only thing is the both of my Pokemon would do terribly in a Trick Room. Oh, yeah, that's so a good I, point. And I can't switch out at the same time as you, Kangaskhan. Mm. I got my Brick Break that I can do on that. Okay. What are you going to do? Like, you, you got your Gastrash, you got your Sleep Powder. I know you more want, want to put it to sleep. I want to Sleep Powder something. Okay. <laughs> Something's going to sleep. I don't care what, but what? I'll... Kangaskhan might have Early Bird, though. So we should probably target Bronzong just to stop it from being annoying. Do you just want to sleep powder Bronzong and I can break, yeah. break the Kangaskhan? Yeah, if you focus on Kangaskhan, we should be okay. All right. All right, let's do this. 
extra sensory. Oh, well, oh. Uh, good game. Jeez, that it's got double on. stabs, double stabs. I kind of want it even regardless of trick room, because that's decent. Now all we need is for you to miss. Oh no! Don't even say it. Oh, it yeah. paused. Okay, like there was good. a pause right there. I know and that I was dramatic like, pause. Ugh. Like no, don't, don't, don't do it. Wireless interference trolling us. Oh, double Ooh. edge. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Max HP is actually. Three if three. I can just survive this, I can put Kangaskhan to sleep next turn. You're below half. Uh, going down, going down, going down. Oh, oh that's good. That did a lot of recoil to it. Actually, maybe I should just go for Leaf Storm. I got Alakazam. Uh, it can hit for Iron Head. Okay, that can hit me for Iron Head. I'm not going to be going first because Trick Room still got one turn left. Right. Okay, so our options here. I could blast something with Psychic. Probably Kangaskhan, more than yes. like. Definitely the better of the two. I don't think Shadow Ball and Bronzong would be as good. Um, I have Combine that I could use to set up, but we're not really getting hit with special attacks much. That Bronzong's not gonna do extra sensory on me. Mm-hmm. Do you think I just should blast Kangaskhan? That's what no, I'm thinking. No, actually, in thinking about it, um, Shadow Ball would do all right because it's neutral damage as opposed to Psychic. I know that, but no same type attack bonus and Bronzong's got a lot of health up. Dude, should I just chip it down though? Like um, well, I was thinking of Leaf Storming Kangaskhan. I don't know how much that's gonna do. It might knock it out, but if it doesn't, we've got a problem. I think it'll knock it out. It'll do really good. Wait, I have a Payapa Berry? Huh. It's weird. Okay, well, I... Uh, that's Should a tough one. Double target Kangaskhan and hope Bronzong stay, stays asleep. Trick Room will wear off at the end of this turn. Actually, you know what? Go for Psychic because I'm going to be faster than you under Trick Room. So if I don't knock out Kangaskhan... Then you'll be able to knock out Kangaskhan or follow up with it. All right, let's double target, turn it on to a two-on-one -on -one fight, hopefully. Hopefully. Let's go. All right, Good. Bronzong's still Good. asleep. That's what we needed. I do outspeed Kangaskhan in this, which is nice. You won't, but hopefully I can knock it out so it doesn't matter. And it didn't make sense to do Shadow Ball because Kangaskhan right. is immune, so if I targeted it with that, it didn't go down. It would have right. been dumb. I think Shadow Ball would have done more damage to Bronzong, but if Kangaskhan lived... Oh, 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 that's good. Oh, that was great. I take it you were looking to see if you had a white herb when you were checking your items. Uh, yeah, just to see. We could open the special drop. I know I'm just speaking of a, I'm wishful thinking. I shouldn't <laughs> do that. It's just that with how tough of a fight this has been, it would be nice. Oh, man. No. Oh, no, we got it! Oh, we got that's it! so good! And then, oh, Trick Room didn't wear off. Crap. Mm. Um, I thought that was five turns. Let's see. That thing is faster. I don't know who it's going to target. Probably me. Probably you, because you're, um, you're definitely in range for it to get a knockout. But I only have Leaf Storm and Sludge Bomb for attacking moves, so I'm just going to Sleep Powder it and Hopefully see what happens. Best. Just in case it targets you. There it is. Rock, Rock slide. Targeted oh, both of us. Never wow. mind. That's a good Bronzong. Wow. wow. I might survive this, though. Yeah. I did. Don't flinch. Neither of you flinch, please. That Bronzong is crazy. Ah! ah! No. <laughs> but I think Trick Room will wear off, so I think I'll be able to try to put it to sleep. It's got minus special, and so I, I should be able to just knock it out if this doesn't. Yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. Okay, okay. I'll outspeed it. I'll Shadow Ball it. We've won. Yeah, there we uh, go. That was a hard-earned victory. Uh, <laughs> I feel a little embarrassed that I miscounted the Trick Room, but I guess for how long these turns go on for, it certainly felt like five turns had gone by. Right? <laughs> Oh. Actually, I think the Trick Room turns were a little different in Platinum. and Well, Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart, Gold, and Soul, Silver. I think they changed the timing of it ever so slightly. I might be wrong on that, but I think it was a little different because, like, when they oh, counted I'm, I'm, it. I'm sorry. I wonder if Daddy will show me how to train my Pokemon next. <laughs> Still talking about their Daddy. Th those were some good trainers, actually. They more than made up for the boring guys we had before. Oh, yeah. They were so boring. Okay, so what next? Okay, hmm. What are we gonna see? That is a good Delayed. question. Delayed. Oh. Another Magnezone! Roserade may next. You guys suck. Wow. wow. Okay, so fire I think. Fire would be good, but I don't think we have any fire anywhere. I think that Bronzong is definitely attractive. Yeah. 
That thing's good. I have Alakazam, which uh, I could trade out for it, mm -hmm. but that would be kind of changing the focus of the team a little bit. Mm hmm. With just how powerful Alakazam is. I don't see. Alakazam would be good against Rose Raid. Yes. But we got a Mamoswine and a Magnectric in there that wouldn't really help with. Mm. Especially not Magnazone. Right. We're going to need something to handle the Gallade and the. The Magnazone. Gallade. I, I would do normal damage to it. I have Excisor on Toxicroak, which I think Toxicroak should be able to outspeed Gallade all right. Hmm. Unless it's a jolly Gallade. That's the other thing. You don't know Natures. Yeah. Right, And right. the Natures really can make a big difference when you're talking about competitive level play like you see in Battle Frontier. Oh, man. Okay, so what's the game plan? Now that we know that we can't switch out or have both of us switch a Pokemon or trade a Pokemon. I got Brick Brick for Magnezone. Yes. And I think I can pretty nicely damage the others with Toxicroak. Yes, Toxicroak's solid. And Weavile would definitely get hurt by either Magnezone or Gallade. Hmm. Um, There's Magnectric in there, which I don't think has anything you need to worry about. I think maybe it can learn U-Turn though, but I just don't think it's really that much we need to it's worry. It's not much of a threat. No. Mamoswine could be a pain though. Wait, was there a Mamoswine? I don't think so. What was the other Pokemon? The there it is Pokemon? again! Roserade. <laughs> Roserade. That's what it is. Roserade. Yes. Uh, Weavile would be good there. Weavile would be good there. Victory Bell. How's that going to do against any of them? It could be good against Mamoswine. It could be good against... Not Mamoswine, Roserade. Uh, why do I keep thinking Mamoswine? <laughs> okay. I think uh, one of us should definitely trade a Pokemon, though. That Bronzong is just too good to pass up. Um... It would be effective against a lot of things. That rock slide's nice. Even though I haven't switched at all yet, I kind of think that you losing the victory bell might be better. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, it just goes to show that your team is pretty solid. So I guess so. That's yeah. fine. You did good victory bell, but I think we're gonna we're gonna go with something Sleep else. Sleep powder is not the most reliable move in the world either. No, it really isn't. If this were like a Breloom with Spore, then we'd probably be a lot more quick to keep it. But it's not true. Although it's still better than hypnosis. It is. So that's nice. I think it's like 60 versus 65 is the I accuracy. I think it's 75% for Sleep Powder. It's actually pretty good. What do we got this time? We got an Ace Trainer, it looks like. And a Camper. Wait, <laughs> please wait. The winds, I hear them. I'm glad to make your acquaintance. May this friendship be fruitful. Yeah, fruitful yeah. friendships. Fruitful friendships. Fruity friendships. <laughs> We've all had some. We've all had fruity <laughs> Oh, boy. Oh, it's a bird uh, keeper. Okay, that's the same spray. Oh, Nancy wow. and Regan? No. Bernard. <laughs> Bernard. <laughs> Bernard. Oh, there's that Gallade. Got a, got a couple of sweepers here. A physical sweeper and a special sweeper starting mm. this match off. This could be interesting. Fighting resists bug, so I don't... Uh, Excessor would be normally effective. I might as well go for poison Wait. grab at that point. You know Gallade or Gallade very well, right? Yes. I do not want to fake out that thing, right? It can have Steadfast. Yeah, so that seems like a bad idea no matter what. I could Ice Punch something, but, oh, I couldn't. No, I guess Night Slash wouldn't really matter. I think um, uh, I think I should Poison Jab something in this turn. I do have, I do have Knock Off that'd be effective on Gallade, though, but in terms of damage, I don't know. Let me, let me... How would it be effective? Fighting oh, right, Fighting Resist Dark. Dark. Fighting Resist Dark and Fighting Slash. Resist Bug, so never mind. Yeah. It's, just, it's not good. Yeah, so, hmm. That that thing's gonna be a pain. I'll uh I'll poison jab. You're gonna hit Rose Raid. I'm confident you'll outspeed Rose Raid. I, I'm pretty sure you'll yeah. one shot it. Uh so, yeah, I should be able to. What I could do is I could target Rose Raid with poison jab in case it doesn't go down. But if it does, then the poison jab will just hit Galate. What other moves does it have? Does it have anything like weird or fancy? I got X Scissor, which has a high critical hit chance, but no stab. Mm. Um, that would be normally effective because fighting resist bug. I got Brick Break, which both of them resist it, and I have Knock Off, which just isn't good damage. Yeah, that's... You'll definitely want to use Poison Jab. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'm right. So I'll, Poison Jab, Gallade, and I... Or Roserade? Yeah, I was going to yeah, have us double sense. target Roserade just in case yep. your Ice Punch barely doesn't do yep, it. I'll that makes knock sense. it out. But I'm pretty sure it will, so we'll hit Gallade anyway. Yes. That's a good idea. We're getting faster in our decision making. We're getting our synergy <laughs> going. Yeah, especially when facing tough odds like this. This is kind of scary. I guess... Didn't really think about that thing. It's done. All right, great. Now well, all I need is for him to not have Psycho Cut thing. and hit me with it. Oh, oh poison point. Poison not point. that it matters. I'm probably going to die anyway. Uh, that natural cure. It could have close combat and hit yep. you for quad weakness. It oh, I'd have... love it if it did that because then its defenses would be lowered and I'd just be so much happier. Unless... Any way you look at it, Weavile's going to die. Unless. Hmm. Unless. Come on, Toxic Rook. I believe in you. Come on. I, oh, 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 what? Oh, 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 o
Wow, that did a lot. Oh, that was even a crit. Holy crap. Wow. Oh, Toxic Croak. You rock. I actually, it's kind of funny, though, because I wanted to use a Toxic Croak in this Let's Play. Ah. <laughs> Before I decided I was going to go Gallade, I was thinking Toxic Croak, but um, there was the fact that I just needed an early game Pokemon, and I was thinking Zubat would be nicer, and I didn't want to have double poison type, so I, I went for that. But it's kind of cool that I'm actually getting to use Toxicroak right here and now, and it's doing really well, because that was almost a team member at one point. Yeah, so see, you're still using Toxicroak in this Let's Play. I am, yeah. <laughs> kind of. And it is a team member, kind yeah, of. Yeah, sort of. Who's next? Maynectric. Okay, I'm not too worried about that thing. Uh, it could use, like, Bite. I don't think it gets Crunch, maybe, but it's not too much of a concern. We just need to blow on that Galay to knock it over. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Um... I'm uh, trying to remember. I think maybe you'd be better targeting Manectric. Like, I could take out That's Gallade. That's what I was thinking. I yeah. could just blast Manectric with Psychic. Yeah, that should do a lot. We'll do that. I think that'd do a lot more than Weavile hitting it with, like, Ice Punch or something or Night Slash. You could just do whatever and it'll knock out Gallade. Yeah. Well, I'm just trying to think what would do more damage to Manectric. But I my, my Psychic is... It's Alakazam using Psychic, let's be honest. Yeah, that's true. All right, we're going to take this thing out. That not, should be knocked out in one hit. Team. If we do that, we turn it into a two against one fight. Ooh, that'll be good. Yeah, Thank you. there we Critical. go. Oh, nice. Turn too late, but yeah, worked but out. Oh well. There it is. Bulma nice. speed. Awesome. So, uh, hi, Magnazone. Oh, that's going to be fun. What about the Mammoth Swine? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot all about him, man. Oh, yeah, where did he they come from? They got him from? sitting in the back. You're going to be laughing if all of a sudden a Mammoth Swine pops up when you were thinking it was Magnazone the whole time. Please I mean, don't. I know it's not, but th that would be funny. It's always funny when someone misremembers something, but they think they're right. They're so convinced they're right, but, like, they're really not. And I'm not going like, to oh. I'm not gonna overthink this. I'm just going to use Psychic. Steel resists Ghost in Generation 4, so yeah. there's, there's not any sort of justification there. Future Sight's typeless damage, that's cool, but it's probably going to go down before we even get any benefit from that. Hmm, now the question is, should I go with Night Slash or Ice Punch? Go for the Freeze or go for the Crit? I think you can just go for the Crit at this point. We're pretty close. Yeah, let's do that. It could have a Steel-type move to hit you, but it's not like you don't have your second Pokemon, and I have a full right. health Alakazam on the field. Right, we should be able to handle this thing anyway. Still did a lot. Yeah, that did a lot. Nice. There that is. All right, let's see who's doing more. I know you're going to do more because yeah. it has higher defense. But oh, yeah. That wasn't bad either. It wasn't terrible. Uh, mirror shots. That's Again. another bad Magnazone. <sighs> was there anything really good on this team? Um, that Gallade was okay, but I don't really think we needed We didn't psychic. really see much of it. It had a... Actually, what moves did it have that we saw? <laughs> I know it had Zen Headbutt. Zen Headbutt was what it did. I think that's actually all it used. So. Yeah, Zen Headbutt's all we saw. That is same type attack bonus. Yeah. That is a powerful move. I, I'd prefer Psycho Cut personally. But. Yeah, definitely. Oh, man. This Bronzong is so good. Um, I don't see any need to do Trick Room this late in the fight. Yeah, unless you fail to knock it out. Actually, I'm sure I'll be able to knock it out. If you don't, you will probably fall just shy of knocking it out, and then I'll finish it with extra sensory. And there that is. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, Ooh, yeah, there you go. Oh, light, light screen. screen. <laughs> oh, nice try, but a little too late there, pal. Yep. Apparently, you just weren't in the zone enough. I actually thought the saying too little too late when I was a kid. For some reason, I remembered it as one little too late. Like, you're counting, <laughs> like, one, two. Oh, that actually kind of almost works. You one know? little light screen too late. <laughs> Ow. I flicked my finger to, like, be a jerk to the Magna Zone, though, but I hit my desk with my index finger when I did. It hit itself in confusion. Ah. I can hear them. The winds, they are in tears. Or tears, whichever they were. <laughs> Thank yeah, you very totally much. Tear. Pa. Pa! Pa! Well, I guess not a very fruitful relationship, more like a vegetable relationship, if that's the case. Oh, yeah. What can we expect to see? Oh, man. Battle number five. Meganium Gyarados to Trio Venusaur. Hmm. So 
we got double grass types. That Gyarados is a little bit scary. We did have that Magnezone that might have an electric type move on the last team if we wanted to switch for it. Weavile. It's going to be so good in this oh, fight. Ice Punch and all the things. I personally don't want to switch. Um, I'm just giving all the switches to you. Like I'm not changing it at all. I don't think I need to switch because Bronzong would do pretty good against Gyarados too with Rock Slide. That could be good. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to switch. Yeah. I think we're just going to leave it just as it is. It's kind of lame confident. that the Trick Room only benefits you, but hey, yeah. it's cool. <laughs> well, you never know. Wait, I didn't think I... I'll cancel the trade. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we're all good to just go in. Great. Oh, man. Now, I'm a little worried if they lead with the Gyarados, but... Might have been slot three, yeah. But I don't think slot three was what it was. It's hard to keep the steak al streak alive. <laughs> the steak like, alive. Oh, fast beat rock and roll. I couldn't read all of it because he talked too fast. He's just that much of a rock and roller. Gosh, you know for a region that is known for everything being so slow, you think the text boxes would stay on screen a little bit longer so you could actually read them? Right? <laughs> Maggie and Bernie! Bernie! <laughs> Oh. Well, I see the hair plugs are working well for him. Yep. Oh, this is great. That Doug Trio is what I really wanted to see, because that thing could <laughs> give you some trouble. But I'm going to ice punch it, and I'm going to knock it out. And, and I can poison party. Them. Oh, this is such a great lead for them. Do it. And Doug Trio looks like it's floating in the air. If you ever wondered what was under Doug Trio, well, now you know the dirt's just part of its body. Yeah. Is there an advantage to me using Fake Out on Doug Trio? Because that the trio's fly. very fast, like very fast. Yeah, no, I know that. I will be able to outspeed it. Weavile's faster than Doug Trio. Well, but here's it, what I'm thinking. He could hit me. Huh? He could I'd hit. flinch him with Fake Out. Yeah, no, I mean, if you don't do Fake Out, he could hit me. So there might be an advantage to that. He might also have Rock Slide, which would hit us both. I will outspeed Doug Trio unless it's Choice Scarfed. But what I was thinking is that would give you an extra turn to attack whatever's on the other side of the field. Um, like if Venusaur comes out or something. Like, we got Gyarados, there's a problem. Remember that I don't have type effective moves in Venusaur because I have Bug and Poison. Well, yeah, I mean, it won't matter once Gyarados is out anyway. I was just thinking if we wanted an extra turn or if I should just go for the Ice Punch. Uh... You know what? I'm going to fake it out just so that way, just in case it's Scarfed and Rock Slides, then we don't have to worry about just it. Just eliminating the risk yeah. entirely. Yeah, because then at least we know you'll knock out Meganium. I swear if I somehow... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> whoa! Not even a crit! That was one-hitted! Oh, yeah. Doug Trio is I know weak. Doug, I know Doug Trio is frail, it but... It is really frail. I knew it was really frail. I knew he had really high attack, but that still did more than I thought, because yeah. fake out is fake out. Yeah, no, that's why I was thinking of using And I didn't kill. <laughs> See? We're, I'm glad we did this. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Whoopee. Uh, synth <laughs> synthesis. That actually works out great. Uh, although I probably would have... Actually, it does work out great, because you know what? Had I not have done that, then we would have had something else on the field, and then we have to focus on that. Now, it'll be two on two, but we each have one in the back. Should so. I just take the kill on Meganium, and yeah. you can try to ice punch Doug Trio? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Let's That's the thing. It. That's kind of exactly what I was thinking. you outspeed Doug Trio. Oh, I, I don't! Oh, you it don't! Is, it must be Scarfed. Or I must have, like, a bad oh. spread. I am adamant, though, so that is something to keep in mind. Good thing we oh. were cautious. I'm so glad I used Fake Out right now. Man, all the thought I put into that, and it turned out so right. Could I, like, not oh. flinch for once? Like, just for once. I've been hit with Rock Slide twice now, and both times I've flinched. Now, question is... Do you want to switch out Weavile because that Rock Slide's going to income and outspeed you? I like that idea because then I can fake out. And yes. I bet you Gyarados is coming you up You get next. your fake out back. You're, you might get intimidated. If Venusaur comes out, I don't know if there's really anything we got to be afraid of. He's not going to attack my slot. Yeah. He's got a grass type move or a poison type move. Right. So we don't uh, have to worry yeah, about Yeah, there's Gyarados. I'm going to switch. Um... I think that'd be a good time for it. Oh, hopefully... I don't know why Doug Trio would use Pursuit against me. If Doug Trio Oh, I has... can't switch! Unless it has uh, Sand Veil, but yeah, it might have Arena Trap. If it has Arena Trap, you can't. Oh. That's a good combination with Gyarados, and it's even better if that Gyar if it has, if the yep. Dug Trio's Earthquake. Yep, it's got Arena Trap, all right. Oh, all right. man. Uh, all right, so what are our options here? I'm going to die pretty much no matter what. You're going to die. 
Okay. Um, I get to stay on the field, hopefully. I don't think Gyarados has got any flying-type moves. All I can really get no. is Bounce, yeah, which I'm not no afraid way. of. Um, it I'm could use Earthquake, though. I'm going to go second. I have near full health. Um, should I try to beat Doug Trio, or should I try to hit Gyarados with a Poison Jam? Because um, I'm thinking Doug Trio needs to go. Doug Trio needs to go. Doug Trio definitely needs okay. to go. I just wanted to know if you had any insight on that, though, but I'll, I'll target Doug Trio. Um, you know what? I'm going to target Doug Trio as well, just in case it misses with Rock Slide. Okay. Because Rock Slide isn't the most... Oh, ah, it has it! 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 But that means it's not Scarf, so... Uh, wow. Uh, That's way faster than I thought. I thought Doug Trio would outspeed it, though, but you were saying Scarf, so I kind of backed well, down. But Weavile is really fast. I know Doug Trio is fast as well, but I don't know. It must be like a Jolly Doug Trio versus an Adamant Weavile. I know I was, I'm Adamant. I was thinking Jolly, but... Oh, oh man. Ouch. That is ouch. hurtful. Ouch. Alakazam's going to take normal damage from that Earthquake, too. We, at least we'll get to see one of Gyarados' moves. Hey, right? what is your Alakazam's speed? We'll see. Yeah. Aqua Tail. Uh, okay, so at least we know it has that. At least it didn't do Dragon Dance this turn. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. What is your Alakazam's speed? I'll, I'll check it when it comes around to our turn. Oh, okay. I was checking when I was sending it out. Uh... <laughs> Somehow I don't think it's going to be to Doug Trio, but we might as well know. Well, I just want to see because um, I'll tell you what my Weavile speed was. So we'll at least know if you're outspeeding it. I right? got 338. Okay, yeah, Weavile's 318. So you should be able to outspeed Doug Trio, but maybe not. Uh, I think either way I should go with Rock Slide rather than Trick Room. Regardless, I'll target Doug Trio with Psychic. Yes. Just to make it gone. That sounds like a good idea. All right, I'm going to Rock Slide. Good, good. Great. Wow. Okay, crisis averted. Oh man, that was. Man, that here was we thought we had an easy intense. win after that fake out. That thinking, dog trio. What a mean combination. Yeah, we can't add it to the team though because that thing. Oh, bite. Hmm. At least it can't flinch me possibly at all. True. But it could knock uh -oh, you out. Uh -oh, You're pretty frail. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh, uh -oh. oh well, on your problem. own, buddy. All I can right. just sit back and watch. Maybe I should have used Trick Room. I'm going to use Trick Room next turn that much, I know. <laughs> oh, man. You also get to hit it with Rock Slide for full damage, luckily. Because yes, it's the only thing on the field. Yes, that is true. But I am still a Bronzong, so... Uh, ooh, actually, that did pretty good. Not but horrible. It's... Oh! Venusaur. That's right, Venusaur. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Man. I definitely should have set up Trick Room last turn. Gyarados is poking Venusaur in the eye. <laughs> the only way I'm going to be able to do this is by Trick Room. Do what you got to do. Or I could go for Extra Sensory on Venusaur, but I don't think I'm going to want to KO it. Venusaur is bulky. It is. I think it's got 80 or 100 I think I got to go stats. for Trick Room and try to get those flinches. All right, come on. See the damage. Hang in. Uh -oh. oh no, that's oh, no. so bad. Oh, one more hit. Oh uh, no. You're you're dead next turn unless a miracle happens. Oh. It can miss with Aqua Tail, so it's not impossible. That is true. Venusaur's probably got a white herb if it's got Leaf Storm in its move set. Um no, maybe not. There it is. Oh yeah, there it is. So slow. Oh my goodness, the battle interface, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yep. trick room. All right. Come on, Bronzong. Get lucky. We got this. We're going to rock slide. Hope for some flinches. You get flinch. You get crits. At least I didn't miss. That's good. Hit something, at least. Yeah. Uh, okay. Double flinch can happen, yes? Yes, it can. And it kind of needs to right about now. Oh, yeah. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Nope. Amnesia. Oh, hmm. Interesting. That's fine, whatever. Oh, that's going to make taking it out such a pain. And no, nope. you're done. Oh, poor Bronzong. It was a good Pokemon. It, oh, crit! Just uh, add insult to injury while it's you're funny because it. pointless crits when you get them, they don't feel satisfying. They just feel like, well, mm -hmm. now you crit, but when they get it on you, it feels like a slap in the face. <laughs> right. So no matter what, there was, but it's more fun to win, of course. Shut up. <laughs> I wouldn't know. <sighs> and bam, the rhythm pattern rule that I say so my, may say so myself. <laughs> 
Oh man, well that was pretty brutal. It was. But it just goes to show, you know, when you have random Pokemon. I do not want to save No, that. I never want to remember that, ever. Learn from your mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Okay, well, tell you what, though. Great having you on, even if it wasn't a victory. Oh, yeah, definitely. And, you know, we didn't even have the victory bell. We Instead, we had the lose bell, bronze on kind of bell, light, sort of, maybe. I, I don't know. <laughs> I guess that anyway. our country's been lately the liberty bell. Ah, right. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for having me again. This was yeah. a lot of fun. Win or lose. Thank you so much for coming. It's a battle, win or lose. Yep. Friends you make, it's the road you choose.